YouTube, Future 22 JS back at you with another video. Before I continue with anything, I have to stop and I would like to thank you guys all so much from the bottom of my heart. We finally hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. Thank you so much. It seemed like that it took forever for me to get to this point. It seemed like that I wouldn't be able to ever obtain it, but I finally got it and it's only up from here. So if you're new to the channel, make sure that you stop, take the time out to subscribe, drop a like on this video, comment on the video, and make sure that you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Future22JS. We're coming off of probably one of the busiest sneaker weeks that we have had of 2024. And this one right here started it off. Getting into them, as you guys can see, we have an all gray Jordan box with the chrome and gray Jordan logo in the center. Flag reads, an Air Jordan 14 retro is E. The colorway is flint gray, stealth, and white. We have the Air Jordan 14 in the flint gray colorway. Releasing on March the 20th for a retail price of $210. I'm very, very surprised that this sneaker sold out due to the simple fact of one, it's an Air Jordan 14. You guys know how 14s are. It's kind of a roll of the dice. If you ever have problems in trying to decipher what's the difference between suede and new book, this sneaker is the perfect example of both. So getting into the details, starting at the bottom, as you can see, we have an all chrome and gray outsole. We have the gray and white midsole as well with the chrome hits peeking out from the bottom with the white hits along the midsole and on the shark teeth. Now getting into the uppers, we have a combination of gray suede and gray new buck throughout the entire sneaker. On the back heel and on the toe box, we have a long shaggy hair suede. Meanwhile, on the mid panels, we have a nice gray new buck. And if you guys are wondering what's the difference between suede and new buck, it's simple as this. Suede typically has hair sticking out. Like you guys will probably hear people say long hair suede, shaggy hair suede, or things like that. And meanwhile, new buck, new buck still has the soft feel it just doesn't have the long strands of hair sticking up it's kind of more so of a smoother feel when it comes down to new book but we also have a nice soft new book going along the tongue jordan logo in the back in different shades of gray as well another thing that sticks out the most is these laces i don't want to say that they're wax laces but they have some type of shine to them when the light hit them so i've never seen or never heard of wax laces on the air jordan 14 but these laces are quite different as well speaking of of laces they do not come with an extra set of white laces in which I always felt like the Air Jordan 14 should have been that sneaker that come with spare laces but they never give it to us for some reason so ultimately this sums up the entirety of the shoe in the comment section below you guys let me know what you think about the Air Jordan 14 flint gray I really 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 hate that I told my boy Haas that I ooped these to him for his birthday because I wasn't expecting on copying but if I would have seen how far this shoe is in hand that I would have gave him him another release or something of that nature but this one right here is a very fire sneaker i'll probably grab it later on down the line it wasn't really on my top priority list i already had when it come down to sneakers releasing through the week you have a hit list set and i already hit all the ones that i wanted to hit for myself but one of them is definitely going back i can't lie i, I thought i was going to be able to rock with it but yeah, that one's going back. But before I do that, I definitely got to get you guys a review on it. When it comes down to Jordan releasing in the middle of the week, especially with it being a 14, it was kind of a gamble. But with me seeing them in hand, it's no surprise why it sold out, bro. This is an absolutely fire sneaker. If you copped it, congratulations to you on it. If you didn't, I'd probably say wait a little minute before you go on and grab them because a lot of people just bought these for resale purposes. And of course, once they see that the resale isn't really hidden for anything, they're going to return them to Nike and that'll probably be your opportunity to either catch a restock on Nike or be able to catch it in the outlet for under retail when they turn the lid off. So just wait and chill on these, but don't wait till too long if you really want them this is a gray sneaker yeah i know it's getting hot outside but around the winter time this sneaker is going to be up there in price i guarantee you because it's almost the perfect sneaker it's a neutral color it can go with any and everything that you put on despite a lot of people not knowing how to put it on but that's another conversation for another day so that was the end of the review my name is future 22 js and I always know that there is no ceiling to your inner potential this was my review of the air jordan 14 retro from Great. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to dream with your eyes open and always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.